was born in 1508 to a noble family. Our family did not have too much to brag about until my sister, Jane Seymour, caught the eye of King Henry VIII and became his third wife in May of 1536. She died one year later after giving birth to King's only son, the future King Edward VI. Our family's fortune rose when Jane got the crown. We thought it dropped when Jane died. But because Jane only had one year with the king, she never had a chance to get onto his bad side. And her son Edward brought back the feelings King Henry had for my sister every time he saw his son. So King Henry was kind to me and my brother Edward. We were given title and trust most people can only dream of. Actually, allow me to correct myself. My brother, Edward, got slightly more glory than I did. He became Viscount Beauchamp in 1536 and Earl of Hertford in 1537, then warden of the Scottish Marches the same year, even after Jane's death in 1542, he was appointed warden of the Scottish Marches. 1544, he was made Lieutenant General of the North. July 1544, later that year, he was appointed Lieutenant of the Realm. When King Henry died, he was part of the Regency Council. He then became the Duke of Somerset and Lord Protector during my nephew King Edward's reign. He was the most powerful man in England. Me? Although I am more intelligent, I was sent to Belgium as the ambassador, allowed back, granted passage to England only after the King's death. Yes. I was accepted into the Regency Council and named as the Lord Admiral. But really, I got less than what I deserved. I won the heart of the richest and most eligible women in England. I met Catherine, and we fell in love. But before we married, she caught King Henry's eyes, and he stole her from me. I proposed to her when I was allowed back after King's death. We married six months later, secretly, even as a young boy. My nephew, King Edward, was more like his father than his loving and sweet mother. But he liked me. We got along well. He didn't like my quick marriage to Catherine, but he accepted us because of his love for his stepmother. Catherine loved King Henry's children like her own. She took Lady Elizabeth to our home so she wouldn't feel like an orphan. Lady Elizabeth, however, she was so young, beautiful, intelligent, fun to be around. When Catherine was pregnant, stayed in bed all the time, I couldn't help but fall for the young lady. One day Catherine ran in the lady and I were having fun. She kicked Elizabeth out and went to deep depression. A few months later, our daughter was born, but Catherine died soon after, just like my sister Jane. Sorry for losing Catherine. But a man of my age and status cannot be without a wife. And since I have deep feelings for Lady Elizabeth, I thought marriage between us two can be the perfect union we both wanted. Lady Elizabeth would not marry me secretly like Catherine did. She insisted on getting Regency Council's approval. And I can't believe they turned me down. Not only that King Edward, so upset he almost imprisoned me and Lady Elizabeth, 
People said King Edward thought I betrayed his beloved stepmother. Well, well, well. What happened between me and Catherine is our business. She accepted me, even though I was not perfect. King Edward is my nephew. Why doesn't he understand that if I can protect and take care of his stepmother, I can protect and take care of his sister? Without me, knowing King Edward started to hate me. My brother Edward started to hate me. And the conflict got worse and worse and worse. Until one night, I decided to visit the king, talk it all out. Before I could reach him, I was arrested for trying to kidnap. And you won't believe this. He signed my death warrant, while my brother Edward did not even try to save me. Stupid Edward. He showed how easy he was for King Edward. He showed that he can cut Uncle's head only made him wanting to do it again. Years later, he tried the same thing on my brother Edward. And poor Jane. She gave up her life to have a son who only lived to 16. But before his death, he managed to kill both of her brothers over really nothing. <laughs>